If you want to know how you can make Spider-Man web shooters like these, where if you press Q, you can kill the other player, and you can just do fun things with the shooter itself, you're going to have to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial this is the last part of the Spider-Man series where I create the Spider-Man web thingies. So in part 1 we made the Spider-Man web slingers, in part 2 we made the Spider-Man web zippers and in this tutorial we will be making Spider-Man web shooters. And um, so this is part 1, you know you could just swing around, it was really cool to make, as you can see it really works. And in part two, we made the swinging, or actually the zipping, as you can see, boom. We can like, zip to the other side, and I'm stuck now, but that doesn't matter. Uh, we're, in this tutorial, we will be doing the shooting, and if you do like this tutorial, give it a like. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications. Uh, become a member by clicking the blue join boy in the envelope. I do not do refunds, so keep that in mind. And a big shout out to Creeper Man, again, for uh, giving me the necessary scripts for this tutorial and uh, you want me to make a tutorial on it and I do it so big shout out to you and thank you and without further ado let's get right into the tutorial so now we're in the tutorial so you want to go to your client script right here we made all of this uh, you want to go uh, like right over here like at the end press enter and type else if I dot key code is equals equals to web shoot key code web shoot key code and not G so if it's not disturbing any script then uh, we will be exactly doing this so just copy and paste that but change the max zip to max shoot distance and uh, change this to on shoot on shoot and uh, let's see if there's anything we need to change uh, we have to web shoot the server and to the server oh well to the server we have to fire mouse dot hit the position and pause we also need to fire mouse dot target surface and mouse dot target so Mouse that hit the position, and pause. Mouse the target surface, and mouse target. So once you did that, um, you're pretty good to go. So now you can exit this script. Just boop. Go to the server script. Go all the way down, and it is time to code the last part. Uh, you just want to type game, call on get service, replicated storage, dot web shoot, dot on server uh, event, call on connect. You have to make a function out of it, so call on connect function. And you need to do a load ton of variables. So PLR, hit pause, mouse pause normal and target so make sure you have five arguments you have player hit pause mouse pause normal and target click enter now we need to define the player so local uh character character sorry is because the plr dot character now if there is a character so if character then now there is a character and now we can do the rest so local arm is equals to character dot right hand or character uh, right arm. You know, some have right arm, some have l uh, right hand. So just like that. Now we need to make a temporary web by saying local temp. Let me just make some space again, like in previous tutorials. Local temp is equals to instance dot new a part the temporary dot name is equals to fake web like this uh, capitalize the F and the W 
temp dot transparency is equal to one because it has to be invisible. Temporary dot anchored is equal to true. It is not allowed to fall. Temp dot can collide is equal to false, so you can like go right through it. Temporary dot position is equal to arm dot position. Temporary dot size is equal to vector three dot new. One by one by one, like that. And the parents of temporary is equal to workspace dot webs. So make sure you have the name, the transparency, the anchor, the can collide, the position, the size, and the parent. That is a lot of talking. Now we need to make. Um, we need to. Well, uh, we need to make two attachments. So local uh, attachment one is equal to instance dot new. Attachment. You get the drill by now. Attachment one dot parent is in the temporary. And the position of attachment, so attachment one dot position, is equal to vector three dot new minus point two five, comma zero comma zero, like that. Now you need to do the exact same. So just paste it, change attachment one to two, two and two. So make sure it's attachment to the parent. It's also in the temp and over here remove the minus. Now we need to make a trail. And the way you're going to make a trail is by saying local trail is equal to instance that new a trail and a trail that parent is equal to temporary because it's going to be in the temporary trail that enabled is equal to true. You can see the trail. The color, so trill dot color, it's going to be something weird, and that is going to be color sequence dot new, color three dot from RGB two five five two five five two five five, which is white, and then comma the exact same color three dot from RGB two five five two five five two five five. So you should have this enormous line, trill dot color. Is equals to color sequence dot new color three uh, that from RGB two five five two five five two five five and another color three dot from RGB two five five two five five two five five. That's a lot of two five fives. But eh? who cares? Next up, the transparency trail dot transparency is equals to number sequence dot new zero. The brightness of the trail is going to be one. So nothing too crazy. Trail that attachment is zero is equal to attachment one, and trail that attachment one is equal to attachment two, like that. What is going on? Ah, uh, I get it. Now trail that face camera, the face camera is going to be true. Trail that lifetime is equal to one. It's going to be alive for a second, and trail that max length is equals to two. Now we need to define uh, our new tween. So local tween is equals to tweens colon create. Uh, we're going to be tweening the temporary part. Tween info dot new point two is going to be taking zero point two seconds. Uh, to tween and then make a table position is equals to mouse pots so the part will grow to the mouse position we're going to be immediately playing that tween so tween colon play now we need to check for um, completed so tween dot completed colon connect function it has to be a function and now we have to do the last part which is uh, we have to destroy a temporary part and we need to create a new part so local parts is equal to instance that new part 
part.name is going to be the actual web. Part.transparency six to one. It will be invisible because we will put a decal on it. Um, so once you put uh, transparency, we will set the can collide or well part.anchored is equal to true and part.can collide is equal to false. Now we need to set the position of the part, which is uh, the position that has been hit on. So part the position is equal to hit pause. Now we need to set the size of the part, which is part that size is equal to vector three dot new web size, web size, and again web size. We need to set the parent of the part now. So part dot parent is equals to workspace.webs because all of the webs are going to be in workspace.webs pretty um, uh, obvious yeah I'm not native English you know the part needs to have a C frame so part dot C frame and this is a little bit tricky so part dot C frame is equals to C frame dot look at uh, what does it do? Returns a C frame with the position of the first vector three and an orientation point the two bars the second. So look at uh, the mouse position, the uh, mouse position plus normals, normal. As you can see, mouse position, mouse pause, normals, normal. So now it's, it's like mouse pause, comma, mouse pause plus the table of normals with normal. So now that you've set the look at, we have to set the actual position. So this is like just to set it over there. But now part the position and it's a little bit of a weird calculation. Again, part the position is equals to part the position and then minus in brackets minus the normals normal and then times. So now you got this. Um, well, for now, you have this. So you have part the position is equal to part the position minus in brackets normal square brackets normal times uh times web size divided by two and then out of the bracket minus point one. So let me just do this. So you should have part the position because the part the position minus in brackets normal normal or normals normal times web size divided by two minus point one so you should have this and then um, if yes you're good to go so now if target dot parents call on find first child humanoid then so uh, the web will actually um, uh, damage you if you um, if you shoot at it, so now if target the parent is other than the character, so if it's uh, not you, then so now that we found the player, we can simply do target the parent uh, colon find first child humanoid. I mean, we just have to find uh, the humanoid, and we did, and then you can do take damage uh, twenty, so you can uh, shoot someone. Uh, five times and then they're dead after that um, the, the the web is going to get destroyed and then we will just return it so uh, the script will not continue now the last part we have to set a decal so local web image Let me just zoom in local web image is equals to instance that new we have to insert a decal web image dot texture and then look on screen there will be text so um, just paste that or like type it over and then simply I will just copy paste it for me because uh, it's pretty simple for me web image dot parent it's going to be inside of the part web image dot face and um, it's going to face to the front so enum dot normal id dot front and then lastly, we have to set a, a debris. So game colon get service debris colon add item parts and the web shoots time. And you are done.
That is how simple it is. So let's try it out right now. So click play. We don't need an animation for this. So that's why we uh, did add one in. So let's try it out. See if we press Q and boop. Let's see, it is not working for some reason. So let's see. So in fact, it did work. I just pointed it at the wrong position. You want to change max shoot distance to max zip distance. And over here at the end, you want to type uh, on shoot is equals to false. We just forgot to put that in. And before we test out, make sure to also remove the tween over here. So just boop, remove that tween and add this on shoot is equals to false. And then in your service script, you have to also have to change something. And I'll show you that right now. And over here at the bottom, you want to put uh, this uh, web image thingy. You have to put it um, on top of the if target uh, human thingy. And then over here, type web image is equal uh, web image colon destroy. And then uh, that should fix it. And let's test this out right now in a two player test world. So right now I am in a two player world. And as you can see, if I press Q, as you can see, uh, I am shooting a web. Boom, 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 boom. As you can see, that works. You can actually draw with it. So let me just draw an N. As you can see, that's the N from newbie. So let's just make an O. That's an eight actually. New B, even though that doesn't even spell my name. But uh, let's try and hit our player. Uh, so as you can see, the ground works. Boom, 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 boom. Let, let's try and hit a player. Boom. As you can see, that works. Boom, 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 boom. And he just died. That is how cool this is. You can just infinitely shoot webs and then swing away like this. I'm a, bit, a little bit lag with internet, so that's why things don't load in. And then you can instantly uh, zip to him. And then boom, and then whee! You just have to mess around with it. It's a little bit... And then you can like immediately shoot him. If you go from the side, it may bug. Yep. Uh, oh. Well, that's a glitch. Well, and then you can just uh, shoot him to death. So let's just try that out. As you can see, he just died and that worked. So if you did, in fact, enjoy the tutorial, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, uh, become a member if you want, just do anything you want. And big shout out to Creeper Man for all of the code. And this is just really funny to do. I don't know what's going on, but um, it's just really cool. And as I said, if you did like this video, do all of what I said. And all I can say is that my name's Newbie. And I say, peace out.